Hi guys, this is Sierra and I'm coming on today because I wanted to show you a um, project chair and it's from my design team, my second design team project from Flair by Me um, vintage Parisian theme. Um, and this is my second project. The first project I did do was um, this book, which I already showed. It was so fun to make and it's so pretty. I just love it and it's the perfect journal. So it's really cute. Um, I love that these kits have been coming with canvas because they make it so you um, can pretty much make anything with the kit. So what I decided to make for my Sinky Design Team project with the Vintage Parisian Kit um, was like an envelope and then I made a little special charm inside with all the beads that came in the kit. So um, it's this is pretty much like a standard envelope size. I used the um, come on here the canvas and I kind of as you can see distressed the edges and frayed them so they looked kind of vintage. And then um, I just, you know, folded it and cut it and glued it. I usually saw it, but I wanted to get this done. Um, and I put a big flower in the center so I can use it as a tuck to tuck the envelope behind it. So I only glued down the middle. Um, and anyways, so the flower, so I used the flower petals um, from the kit and then behind that is a doily that came in the kit. And then I also use the little bridal applique pieces that come in the kit. They're all through there. And I cut them apart. And then I also use this lace right here. I cut little pieces out and put them in here. And then I also use other lace pieces and other pieces from the lace. I just kind of cut the lace apart and made a little flower out of everything and then use the pink bow and then on top I used two of the very beautiful laces that come in the kit and also this embroidered butterfly and then another doily that comes in the kit and so if you open up the um, envelope then I have three more laces this first one and then there's the vintage lace under this one and then the third lace right here and all these laces do come in the kit and then this is another lace from the kit and I cut out some pieces from the um, Paris uh, themed uh, fabric that she provided and I put those on the bottom just to give it some color and detail underneath the laces as you can see and then I just added some of the lace pieces that I cut up and there's some more lace on it and there's some more lace down here and those are some cut out cutouts from the beautiful fabric that she provides so that's the fabric envelope the back is pretty much um, it's pretty plain so as you can see so inside, this is my favorite part, is I made this beautiful um, dangle piece. So this beautiful vintage button does come in the kit and she does actually sell these um, in her store and they're just gorgeous and such an awesome value because they are really truly vintage. Okay, And then I got some filigree pieces and I painted them white because they were a bronze color. Then I put on one of the shabby flowers that I tea dyed that came in the kit. And then I got some chain and I, you know, cut pieces off of the laces that come in the kit and I tied them on the chain. And I got some charms from Walmart and I just put those on the chain. But the beads, I made a whole bunch of little dangles and the beads are all, sorry, can you see that? They're pretty much all from the kit. All the beads 
See, like these pretty pink sparkly crystal beads are in the kit. These buttons are in the kit. The teardrop beads. All the beautiful pearls. I did use my own bead caps. And then that's some more um, netting from one of the laces that I tied on there. And then I did use my own little wild orchid craft flowers. Is that gonna? Yeah. Um, for little dangles that um, Nurse Tara showed us how to do a while back. Um, there's just all these little dangles and they're just so pretty. But yeah, I used a bunch of the beads that came in the kit and also beads that have came in the past kits that we've got from Melanie. So it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I was completely inspired to make this um, dangle piece from um, DC Scrap and Rooster. She has these gorgeous bohemian style dangles that she made that I want to try making soon as well. Um, this one's more shabby Parisian um, due to the color schemes that were in the kit, but oh my gosh, they're just beautiful. So it was completely inspired by her and all the other um, Chunky Charm videos that I've watched on um, on YouTube and Nurse Tara, she does a really good job of showing you how to make the little charms and connect everything too. So anyways, this was a lot of fun and this was my second design team project from Flare by Me for the Vintage Parisian Kit and still look at everything I got left. Um, I definitely think I'm going to make some tags, some more tags out of this because I still got the images that she printed out on fabric so I want to go ahead and make some tags with these, some fabric tags so I'll definitely be showing those soon once I'm done with them and I still got laces left and everything so I'll definitely share that as well but again this is my second design team project for Flair by Me um, for the vintage Parisian kit and I will link everything below so if you have any questions, you can ask me on Facebook. I'm Miller Sierra. I also have an Etsy, CNC Crafts and Antiques. Um, and I will link everything for Melanie's shop below. And also, Melanie does ha only have, I think, one of these kits left. So definitely run and grab it. This kit is an amazing kit for sure. Um, she also has some other kits that I'm going to be doing a project share on all my past design team kits that I will share you know hopefully soon I just have to get over to my mom's where I'm keeping all of my crafting supplies right now for our shop and make another video because the first one I'm not I'm having issues uploading it so I want to show you guys all those projects I made with these other kits because she has free shipping on these kits it's amazing what an awesome price you should definitely go over and check out her flare by me on Etsy Okay, well you have a great day and I hope to be on again soon. Thank you so much for watching. I know I'm not great at making these videos yet, but I hope to improve soon. Thank you. Bye.